we are gonna draw this dog here. Um, so we're gonna go over how to sort of uh, start. We're gonna talk about angles. We're gonna talk about shapes and stuff like that. But I want you to think about when we draw anything, how can we break it down? How can we break it down into a simple line? How can we break it down into a curve? How can we break it down to a shape if you need to? You know, like how can we just break it down into very, very simple things that help us be more successful? If we look at this whole thing, it is overwhelming. So what can we do in order to make it easier for ourselves? So the first thing I'm going to do, I wanna start with this line here and I know it's not even because it has to come up but we'll fix that later but that will help me sort of get um, set up for the rest of what's going on. I will tell you a lot of times when I try to do um, angles I will put my pencil on the picture I'm drawing and then I will bring it over to my page and sort of visually keep in mind what that angle is. Okay so um, I will do that um, periodically throughout this. So if you see that, that's what I'm doing. I'm going back and forth. So, cause I'm, I can't have this on here cause we can't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this off to the side and, um, we will move forward from there. Okay. So I'm going to just do that real quick. So that's where the top of that head is. And then I'm gonna come back in here. I'm actually gonna move this. And I'm gonna do the side of the head. See, I changed it. So I always have to come back and sort of make sure. So that's pretty much like the shape of the head. Now, obviously it's not perfect and it's not exact, but for right now, that's gonna really help me set up where I need to go. Um, so I'm gonna do the head first and then we'll do the body because we've got this little, um, his bottom jaw here that we need to sort of look at. So from here, I'm just gonna start to refine things. So we have the head here and then we've got the ear and I drew it all the way out so I know that the ear is probably going to be around here and again this may not be perfect but for right now this is what we're going to do and this area here is where the ear goes up and we can see some of that underneath there. And then this one actually um, comes up a little bit more than that one because it's hanging off a little bit because of the angle, more gravity, right? Okay, I was just checking the where the ears fall, if they were even or not, and they are. So I just need to make sure that I don't go farther than this. And the ear sort of goes like this, but then we've got the uh, the inside part that comes here. There we go. And then this is the inside of the ear coming around. So we'll erase some of these inside lines here. And then I'm gonna start to, um, and this looks too wide here. Look at that. Look at how much space is here and how much space is here. So I need to fix that somehow. I know what it is. The tops of the ears here need to come in more. 
which then changes the shapes of them a little bit. So again, everything's not gonna be perfect right away and that's okay. That's why we always come back and sort of double check um, what we're doing here. This will actually be better for the inside of the ear too. Got to erase these lines so I actually know what's happening. There we go. Because the inside of the ear, when I was noticing that it sort of was a little too much here, but now that should be better as we start to do the outside of the jaw here. So I'm just sort of doing the outside shape of the head a little bit on this side. And again, I'm pretty sure it's not perfect, but um, wait, what am I doing? I don't want to add that in, sorry. Yeah, so then this goes here. This actually comes down a little bit more and goes like this. And then we've got a line here that comes up and then like the muzzle area. Get the middle of the face action. So I know that this needs to come So again, just sort of lightly sketching. I am definitely more of like a sketcher when I do things um, because I draw really lightly then and it just sort of helps me draw lightly so that if I do need to er erase, which you can obviously see I'm erasing a lot, I need to get a better, uh, a pencil so that actually has an eraser on it because sometimes these little areas are hard to get into, right? Oh, I see, this comes down here. I wonder it looked a little too much. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this looks like. So just doing the sort of the jaw line here, doing the, the chin, the bottom jaw. This still doesn't look right here. See how, so I think I need to make it a little bit more square. So this comes here and then goes a little bit here and then comes up. That looks a little bit better. I do think it comes out a little much. See that? It just comes out a little bit where I have it come out a lot. So it's always good to go back and just check those little angles because that really can make or break what it's looking like, right? Um, so we just need to make sure that we're coming back and checking all those things. I still think this is a little wide. Um, but I like the face shape, so maybe we move this ear over here. Let's move the ear. Oh, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna see. If I have the ear and I go straight down, so it sort of goes into here, right? Ear and at an angle straight down. So yeah, so the ear needs to start around here. So I do that a lot. Like when we get to the eyes, if we go a straight across, this goes straight through this edge here. Well, this ear is a little bit longer than that ear, huh? Okay, see, I messed up on that. But that's why we practice and we redo. So from here, I'm gonna bring that ear. So I don't want it so it should end here. Maybe that'll help things look a little bit better. And here, and then it sort of comes up and then it has a little bit of a fold. So this comes up angle-wise. 
this way. this comes up here and then this sort of meets it. That looks better. That spacing there looks better. Okay, so now we've got the face a little bit. I'm gonna just gently do the um, body here so we can see like part of the neck comes from in the middle here and comes down. This you don't see too much of. It comes here and then this comes from here. So that looks pretty good, right? And we might have to change this as we get to the nose area, but for right now, I think it looks good. All right, so we're gonna move on to the eyes. So like I said, I'm gonna take this line and sort of go across, and that's gonna help me sort of figure out where my eyes are. We have to make sure since the eye, the head is at a major tilt, right, that the eye line is around the same angle as the top of the head, because it's not like you change your, you move your head and your eyes like go wonky or whatever. So I know that my eyes are there. I also know that if I were to take my um, pencil and go straight down from the ears, it goes through the middle of the eye. So that's a good indication for me. So I can take that and go straight down. And then I know that goes through the middle of the eye. And this eye, the bottom line here, sort of goes a little bit under, the eye goes a little bit underneath the line or if we go straight, the eye is a little bit above, like above the line. So again, that's what happens sometimes when we angle. So I'm gonna start here. And it eyes, like dog eyes, because of their tear ducts and stuff, do start a little bit below that eye line here. And then they, it comes up. So this one has definitely a straighter feel right here in the beginning. And then it has a nice curve. And then inside here, the eyeball takes up like almost the whole thing. And we've got the pupil in here. Okay. And then on this side, I'm going to double check here. Oh, touched it again. Sorry, my head keeps. On this side, this is where the tear duct starts. Yeah, see this has to go up a little higher. And then again, filling in the eye space with that eyeball here. And that looks like it could be a little bit more, maybe a little bit rounder up on top because it looked a little flat compared to the other one. So you always want to double check and I will say getting eyes and eyebrows and those kinds of things, not that dogs have eyebrows. Well, this one doesn't. Some of times, well, I guess he does with the little coloring here. Um, but sometimes it is really hard to get them to look the same. So I wanna double check, cause it does look a little off, even though when I do that, if I do this line. Okay, so I think this goes a little below, a little too much. So we're gonna fix that here. Which means that this probably needs to be brought up just a tad. And that'll change the inside. That looks better. That doesn't look so, one eye doesn't look so um, out of place. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the nose. Um, so if I look at the nose, if I draw the my pencil lines down from the inside corner of the eyes, it's just on the inside of that. So again, we need to keep the same angle, right? So that our nose is 
where it's supposed to be. And I can't really tell you exactly where to put it. So we just sort of have to give enough space here, but not have too much space here. Does that make sense? So enough space here, making sure my angles are the same as like the top of the head. Um, and sometimes I feel like dog noses, cat noses, those kinds of things look weird until you add shading on because they're just sort of there, right? And adding the shading on makes them look more realistic. It adds that dimension to the nose popping out or even the nostrils going in. Um, but that doesn't look too bad. And again, I'm not saying it's perfect, but once you start shading, you can definitely change it. So for right now, I could maybe come in and add some of the, of the coloring if I wanted. Um, but if we erase all these lines we don't need, oops, I don't wanna erase that line. It's looking pretty good. Again, not perfect because when you start shading, there might be areas that you're like, ooh, I need to tweak this, I need to tweak that. But you wanna take the time to get the structure as good as possible so that you're not having to redo everything when you start shading. So I could come in and add like the big tuff of eyebrow here. We've got another little thing here. We've got a little bit wider down at the bottom. And this I'm just gonna do really sketchy because again, it could totally change when I get into the shading to make it a little bit more refined. But if we do that, then there's like a little light area down here. We've got you know, on the chest here, we've got some color. got a lot going on down here um, because of all the coloring, which will be fun when you go to shade it. So just something really simple like that for the outline.